One thing that I love about ocarinas is that there are so many different types to choose from. You might be wondering why there are different sizes. Well, the size corresponds to the pitch. So the smallest, which is called the soprano, will have the highest pitch out of all of the different ocarinas. Then you have an alto, which is a little bit lower. A little bit lower than that is the tenor. And then finally, we get to the bass, which is, of course, the lowest. In today's video, I'm going to go through all of these for you so that you can see them and also hear what they sound like. If you're looking for your own ocarina, make sure to use my code GINA on the STL Ocarina website and you'll receive 10% off of your order. Let's get started with the soprano ocarina, which again is the highest sounding ocarina. This one is called the air and it's in the key of C. Now we're going to move on to the alto, which is going to sound a little bit lower than the last ocarina that I played for you. This one right here is an alto ocarina and it is called the fire. I wonder why this detail is so cool on the side of it. Anyway, it is in the key of G. Let's move on to the tenor. Tenor is obviously a little bit lower than the alto, and most ocarinas that you're going to find are going to be tenor ocarinas. I love playing these, and these are perfect no matter what your experience is with the ocarina. This particular one is called the aria, and it's in the key of C. And finally, we have the bass ocarina. Of course, this sounds the lowest out of the entire ocarina family. One thing to know, I would not recommend this instrument for beginners just because it is so heavy and the holes are a lot further apart so it's harder to play. I actually always use this neck strap just because it is so heavy and in case I were to drop it that way, it adds some protection and I don't have to worry so much about dropping it. This ocarina is the shadow bass and it's in the key of C. If you have any questions about the ocarinas that I showed you in today's video, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you again to STL Ocarina for making this series possible. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new ocarina videos that I release monthly. Next month, I will teach you how to play Song of Storms from the Ocarina of Time.